Hi, this is Soft Cell Video Productions. I'm your host, John. Welcome to lesson number five in Electrical Test Pro. Let's get started. We're going to start off with listed. This is a very important definition. With our warehouses stocked with foreign made products, there are many knockoffs that are not listed. They will get past most inspectors, but in some cases, listed means that it has to be labeled as being acceptable for that jurisdiction. In cases like this, no label means you fail inspection. Listed and approved mean about the same thing. And I'd like to take a moment here and define, I'm just kind of throwing this in, what shall and shall not means in the code book. Shall means absolutely positively has to be done this way. Shall not means you won't do it. You can't do it this way. It's an absolute no-no. So shall and shall not. I just wanted to throw that in there before I forgot it. Now we move on to live parts. This can be wire, a bus bar, or device that is energized. Hot, or most simply, the power is turned on. Locations. We have a few of those. Damp. Damp location. Out of direct contact from the elements, like on a covered patio or maybe a basement. Location. Dry. This pretty much means an inside location where you are not expecting any water to get in. There are exceptions to this. Locations. Wet. Any place that is directly exposed to the elements. It also applies to indoor locations, like a kitchen receptacle next to a sink or a bathroom receptacle. It goes without saying that a car wash and businesses of that type qualify as wet locations. Luminaire. Okay, that is a complete light fix. Wiring, bulb, and any covering that goes with it. Not just a socket or a light outlet. It means the whole kit and caboodle ready to go, ready to power up. Outlet. Well, an outlet is where a device or accessory allows the supply of electric power. It may be for an oven, a mounted light, or just a basic receptacle. We now cover overcurrent. That would be any voltage or amperage that exceeds the rated current or ampacity of the breaker, wire, or device being used. Plenum. I better go to the little board for this. This term is almost certain to be used in some way in the fire code portion of any electrical test. You can find more information on plenum code in the National Fire Protection Association publication or NFPA. It's a little red book and it's a wealth of information. We move on to qualified person. That would be a person that has practical knowledge and skills in the electrical trade. Also, must have received training on the hazards involved when working on electrical equipment or construction. Raceway. Oh boy. That covers just about anything that can legally hold, contain, or route electrical conductors. This can range from metal conduit to cable trays to rigid conduit. It is a very broad term. Now, we have different kinds of rainproof stuff. It's rainproof and rain tight. Rainproof is one step down from rain tight. An air conditioner disconnect must be rainproof. It has to be able to withstand uh, regular rain or a little bit of a windy rain. Now, rain tight, this means hardcore waterproof. It means using rated waterproof fittings and sealed boxes and devices. No water must be able to enter under any circumstances. That means if you stand there with a hose and squirt water at it, no water is going to get in. We move on to service. Uh, this seems like an easy one, but it throws a lot of people off. A service is a metered panel that usually has a main breaker that feeds breakers to all other individual circuits. Service equipment. Now, if you read this in the code book, it's going to confuse you, or it may, unless you're already familiar with it. But to completely rephrase what's in the code book, service equipment is a power supply that has two or more electrical meters and has main breakers that can cut power to a remote sub panel. Also known as switch gear in the field or on prints, it is usually found on multi-family apartment buildings. This is a really old school method of 
power attachment. And basically it comes off the main power line. Usually there's a transformer. Didn't really want to get into that artwork. But it's connected to a weather head, which is a pipe that curls over. You've seen them. And the wires come down from a cable. That's called a service trough. They power houses or any number of things. They're usually found in very old sections of the town, old houses, whatever. They're pretty much obsolete. Everything is going underground as, as far as possible. Uh, sometimes it's not feasible to go underground. So you have your power pole, you got your connection, service drop, weatherhead, powers your house, multifamily, whatever. But that's your service drop also known as a overhead service drop. Well that concludes lesson number five and it really leaves only one more item on the table because I've covered everything I want to cover that, that needs to be covered in the definitions portion because I, I used only what I think will be on the test where you might have a hard time understanding. I left a huge amount of terms out which are self-explanatory that I know you can figure out on your own. But I saved my favorite for last which is power and the definition of power. So we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.